questions began for Supreme Court nominee Elena Kagan Tuesday. Senators on the Judiciary Committee inquired about Kagan's views on the Constitution, judicial activism, and the decision she made while dean of Harvard Law School to ban military recruiters because of the nature of the don't ask, don't tell policy. We were trying to make sure that military recruiters had full and complete access to our students, but we were also trying to protect our own anti-discrimination policy and to protect the students whom it is, um, uh, whom you know, it, it, the policy is supposed to protect, which in this case were our gay and lesbian students. And well, we tried to do both of those things. Well, it, you couldn't do both as it became clear uh, as time went on. And joining us now with more is Brian Montopoli, political reporter for CBSNews.com. Brian, uh, Elena Kagan spent the day answering some tough questions today. How do you think she did? I think she did really, really well. I mean, you know, this is a nominee who came in with an expectation that she was going to have a relatively easy confirmation hearing. And frankly, she was more of a sort of natural, comfortable uh, nominee than we've seen uh, certainly under President Obama and even going back through President Bush. I mean, she was making jokes up there. She was deflecting questions but being a little bit more forthright than some of the people have come before. She really had a very, very good day. I think both sides have been a little trepidatious about where she stands politically. Is she liberal? Is she more of a centrist? I mean, the questions have been leading. Can you tell at this point? What she said in her second day was, I'm a Democrat. I've always worked for Democrats. Read into that what you will. However, I think liberals are a little concerned that she might not be as liberal as they want her to be. And, and frankly, she's given no indication that she is particularly liberal, although it does appear that, you know, she is a solid Democrat. She has been adamant about her opposition to Don't Ask, Don't Tell. She says, I still believe that it was the wrong policy. Um, so, you know, I think but in general... is that the Republicans' best shot against her? It's their best shot, but it's not a great shot. I mean, you know, let's look at the Don't Ask, Don't Tell issue. Ses Jeff Sessions, the, the ranking Republican uh, on the committee, said, you know, you're anti he implied that she was anti-military. Kagan shoots back, look, I didn't allow them in our career services office because that was our school policy. You couldn't discriminate, right? But I did allow military recruiters access to students in other ways. Military recruiting actually went up when I was there. I tried to forge a compromise, and she was fairly convincing in making that argument. So. That's their best shot, and it's just not particularly effective. Okay, she wasn't the only one today. Uh, General David Petraeus was also undergoing confirmation hearings. How did he do? And his process seems to go a little bit faster. Yeah, well, everybody loves General David Petraeus. I mean, there, I don't think there's a more popular person on Capitol Hill. Um, he, uh, the Senate Armed Services Committee has passed him, and, and, and on noon Wednesday, the full Senate will confirm him. Um, well, they're already so familiar with him. Like you said before, he's taking a demotion, basically. Right. He, he wrote the book on this. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he's a counterinsurgency effort uh, expert, and he's, you know, realistically, a lot of people see him as our, our best chance to win a war that's really been stalled. Um, you know, the other thing with regard to Petraeus to talk about, and I think the most interesting thing today, was this question around the July 2011 timeline for troop removal. Uh, President Obama has said, July 2011, we're going to start bringing home troops. Republicans say we can't have timelines. That helps the enemy. We're just going to wait them out. Democrats are saying we better bring people back. July 2011, this war has been going on too long already. Mm -hmm. uh, and the administration's really been trying to walk this very thin line where they say, yes, we're starting, uh, we're starting withdrawal at that point, but we might change our minds and we might only bring back a few troops. And, and so basically they're trying to placate both sides. And that was the issue where Petraeus was hammered today. But, you know, Petraeus is a very smooth guy and he was able to sort of deflect the questions in the most effective way possible. Okay. Brian Montopoli, CBSNews.com. Thank you so much Thank you. for joining us.